guys, this is Kristen coming at you live from Bethera, South Carolina, and tonight I'm going to be making a very simple dish that I have been making even before we were keto, um, and it just happens to also be keto. So I'm going to be sharing this with you guys. If you're joining me live, if you'll drop a one in the comments to let me know that you're here. Um, if you are watching on the replay, that means when you look up, you don't see that red live up there at the top. If you will drop, I miss you in the comments, and if you're new and you've never seen any of my videos before, if you will drop news so that I can give you a full name shout out. I already see that Shelly and Ashley are hopping on. I see Rose. I see Janet. Hey Rose, how are you? Um, this is a very, very easy, easy recipe. Okay. So most of you probably have made this once or twice in your life. If not, then here we go. It's super simple. It's a quick, quick, quick meal and you can kind of dress it up or make it like a little bit more fancy if you want to or you can keep it super simple like I'm going to do tonight. Hey Bridget. Hey Kimberly. Hey Becky. Hey Rose. So um, normally whenever I do stir fry, before we were keto, I use regular rice. So in order to make this keto friendly and low carb, I am going to be using cauliflower rice, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of. Hey Jen, hey Jen, again, there's another Jen. Hey Jessica, hey Elizabeth. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and plop this little bad boy in the microwave um, and it's super simple. So all I'm gonna do is just follow the directions on the bag and it says microwave on high for five and a half to six minutes. So I'm gonna start this one because I'm actually gonna do two bags tonight and I wanna make sure that that's done when my food is ready to go. So five minutes and 30 seconds, done. So rice is gonna be super simple. Hey Shelly, hey Rebecca, hey Kendra. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I have a deep dish skillet, you guys can see, it looks like this. I'm gonna put it on about medium high, medium, medium high. Um, and I am using steak, okay? So you guys can do chicken if you would prefer. Um, I'm gonna do steak just because we are huge red meat fans at our house. I don't know, just a big thing. Um, hey Tracy, hey Heather, hey Sarah. Um, you could add shrimp to this also, and I'll, so um, I'm not gonna do shrimp tonight. Um, I have plenty of it, I don't know why I'm not doing it, but I'm just not. Um, but I will tell you when you can add that, okay? So if you decide that you want to do shrimp in your stir fry, I'll let you know when that is that you're gonna add that in there. So I've got my stove top going ahead and heating up. Hey Susan, hey Sandra, hey Patricia. Um, you said, hey, it's Donna from New York again. Hey, Donna. Um, I'm using olive oil, okay? Um, and this is, I'm just putting a little bit in the bottom of the pan, probably a couple tablespoons, not a whole lot. Hey, Christy. Hey, Sandra. Um, and I am just going to cook up my meat. Hey, Lisa from Ontario. So if I, okay, so true story, we were out of meat tenderizer. So I didn't season this with meat tenderizer. Um, if you want to make sure that your steak is super tender, then I would recommend you sprinkling some of that on there at least an hour or two before you cook it. This was, um, this is round steak, boneless round steak. It was like in a big, I think it was like a pound and a half of meat. Um, hey Brittany, hey Lindsay, um, hey Shamika, hey Ashley. So what I did was I literally just cut it up into strips. Now, if you want to be super lazy, um, you can go ahead and buy the stir fry steak already cut up. Um, it's also sometimes called fajita meat. Um, my carrot cake was amazing. You guys can see we have already, like my girls loved it and I had a piece for breakfast. I'm not even ashamed to say it. It was really good. I even had somebody say, um, you know, was it dry? And it wasn't, it's not, it's not dry at all. Like look at it, isn't it pretty? It's so good. So that, that's it. Um, totally recommend that recipe. And it's, it's not grainy or anything like that. People were worried about that. Hey, Lucy from Omaha. Okay, so I think my oil is pretty well warm. If y'all wondering what I'm doing, I'm just spreading it around the pan. I don't know. I'm just weird. All right. So I'm going to dump this into my skillet. And then I'm going to season it. Oh, going to run away. Y'all, this is literally the easiest meal that there can be when it comes to cooking. And Wednesday nights we have church, so I'm all about the easy on Wednesday nights. If you like an easy meal, drop easy in the comments. Thanks, Lindsay. Hey, Martina. Oh, look at there. Y'all are making friends on here. Donna says, hey, Josephine and Donna. She is from Halsey, Oregon. Hey, Sandra from West Virginia. Okay, so that is cooking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to season this with some pink salt. 
And then I'm going to season it with some um, pepper. And that's super simple. Yeah, y'all like easy. Now you can cook the steak to the tin, like to the doneness. I don't know what that. Y'all know what I'm saying. Because what's going to end up happening is I'm going to cook it through, and then I'm actually going to take it out, and then I'll put it back in the pan. So it's really going to be done by the time like you put it back in there and it sits. I haven't had a good stir fry in a while. Pink salt, Eileen, that's a great question. Okay, so you can use regular salt, um, but if you ever notice, if you eat meals that have like tons of salt in them, the sodium makes you swell up, pink salt doesn't do that. So this is actually, when you're following a keto diet, you need to hydrate yourself because your electrolytes get super low. And often, um, people struggle. Donna's got her pink salt, oh yeah. Um, they struggle hydrating themselves because they're drinking tons and tons of water, but then their electrolytes are super low. So this is going to give you all the benefits of sodium, but without all of the harsh benefits that regular, regular salt would give you. Um, so this is a little bit healthier for you than the other one. And it's not expensive. Like you guys are saying that y'all have it. If y'all let, let us know in the comments how much you paid for yours. Um, and another thing that I like about it is that you can get it from literally any grocery store. Um, I think that honestly, I found it at Big Lots. I found it like in Dollar General. Like I found it like in lots of different places. This one came from Walmart and I think it was like $2 and something. So it's, I mean, it's, now I know you can buy a box of regular like Walmart salt for like 50 cents or whatever, but $2 is not that bad. So I use pink salt for everything. And I only have a box of salt in my, like a regular salt in my um, pantry in case I run out of this one. Yes, you're welcome, Eileen. Yeah, and I love it because like if you ever, when you're doing keto and you, um, you notice you're getting a headache, like I'll literally just, this is what I'll do. I'll shake some in my hand like that and just like that. It's the Himalayan pink salt, yep. And there is a version of it that is, um, I found the other day that's seasoned. Um, if you have to restrict your salt intake, can you use that salt? Would it bother your blood pressure? Virginia, I am not a medical doctor. So if you have blood pressure or anything like that, um, I would talk to your doctor about it and see what they recommend. Um, but as far as I know in the, the, like, you know, the things that I've worked with, um, it's better for you than regular salt. So if you're going to use reg if you're going to use salt, then this one will probably be a better option for you. But again, talk to your doctor about that. Okay, I, I ignored my um. Yeah, Dollar Tree carries it. I ignored my cauliflower rice. All right, so I'm going to put this next one in here. I feel like I should start carrying stock in cauliflower. Do you guys feel like that if you're keto? Like you just get like the big, Rose gets the, the big pound, one pound bag from Dollar Tree. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like it's anywhere. Okay, so I'm getting ready to take this out. So I have a plate and all I'm gonna do, hey Cheryl, is I'm gonna take the steak out because I'm gonna add my veggies next. And this is the easiest part right here, okay? I already bought from the grocery store a bag of frozen stir fry veggies. So I didn't have to chop anything. It was ready to go. Now, if you only have like ground beef at home and you don't have steak, totally do that. I think that will be fine too. Um, if that's all you got. Okay, so this is the stir fry mix that I have. Walmart, you can see great value. Um, this one has broccoli, Italian green beans, carrots, baby corn cobs. Those are um, Riley and Sophie's favorite are the little baby corns. Um, water chestnuts, which I love, and then red peppers. So in this, now keep in mind, um, some of these are higher carb vegetables. So typically your lower carb vegetables are the green ones. 
So the broccoli, the green beans, um, and the pepper, well, the peppers are a little bit higher, but they're not nearly as high as um, like the baby corn and the water chestnuts and the carrots. Um, so if you're like super like, you know, you may want to watch that, but I'm going to read to you what, so a serving size is a cup, which is probably about what I'm going to eat. Um, so total carbs is eight grams of carbs and it has two grams of fiber. So it's six net carbs for a cup of this. So I think that's not bad. Like I, if I'm going to splurge, I would rather it be on veggies. So where are my scissors? I'm not quite as of a hot mess as I was last night. Thankfully. So all I'm going to do is open this little bad boy up. See how convenient that is? It's already there. So I'm going to dump that in the pan. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all of my seasonings, okay? So there's a number of things that I'm going to use. I'm going to use ground garlic powder, ground ginger, onion powder, and then a little bit of ground red pepper, a.k.a. cayenne pepper. So not a ton of that because I have kids and they can't handle it. And then, of course, I'm going to season the veggies with some more salt and pepper and then top it off with some soy sauce. So super simple. Um, Julie, it was amazing. It was so good. I had I told them earlier a second ago that I had it for um, breakfast. Elizabeth, I am I am with it today, I think. Hopefully. Alright, so let's sprinkle some seasonings on. And I'm pretty sure these are new. So yeah, of course. I should have done this before. Y'all please don't hate on me for opening that with my mouth. <laughs> um, let's see. You use the deluxe one. Yeah, that's my favorite because it has like all of the different veggies in it. Like it's, I like the different textures in my stir fry. Well, glory. Jeez Louise. Hey Amanda. Hey Bonnie. Oh gosh. Now this is why, Elizabeth, you, you jinxed me. <laughs> I was doing good. Well, all right, there we go. Now, if I just don't dump the whole thing in there, Martini, you do that too? Okay, so there goes, this is garlic powder. I'm very, um, I use this sparingly because garlic does not agree with our tummies. I don't know how y'all are, but we have to be careful about how much garlic we use. All right, so now I'm gonna add the ground ginger. Hey, Gina from New Orleans. And I'm gonna use a good bit of this. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to onion powder. Okay, we're gonna do some pepper and some salt. Now keep in mind these are frozen veggies, so I'm turning the heat up so that I can get some of that moisture out of there. And then last but not least, the red pepper. it wasn't coming out that whole time. It just wasn't working. Hey, Amy from Missouri. Okay. I'm going to grab a spoon and then I'm just going to stir that up. So I really, I like, I legit have my skillet on high now because I'm trying to thaw out the veggies and, did I turn? Okay, I did. Um, get some of the moisture that's left after it thaws out because then there's like a ton of liquid. Um, Tyler, do I like to use lime with this recipe? No, I don't, but you could. If you like that flavor. So now I'm gonna add in some soy sauce. Um, you can use some, um, I think it's coconut aminos as a lower sodium version, or they have a low sodium soy sauce. And I'm probably going to use the last of what's in this thing because I'm almost out. And there we go. And I will put the recipe in the description, you guys, when I'm done. But there you go. Well, can't. There you go. Oh, 
my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so now that is, that's what it looks like, okay? Now I'm going to dump the meat back in because I want for it to start soaking up some of that sauce. takes like 15 minutes start to finish did I put the vegetables in the pan while they were yes I did Claudia while they were still frozen okay turn it down on medium and now all I'm gonna do while that's finishing up is I am going to get a casserole dish and I'm gonna put the, the rice in that. So y'all give me just a second. Things are gonna fall and that's gonna be okay. I told you. the little thingy right there that you can rip it but because it's super hot I don't like to mess with that because I'm afraid that I will burn myself and I have let me move all this out of the way um so I'm gonna use scissors instead can y'all see what I'm doing y'all cannot see what I'm doing can you there we go Okay, so there's one bag, and then there's two. Now, if you would like to, another great option, um, because I'm not going to do that because uh, Sophie is going to pick out the cauliflower rice, so it's just easier for me to scoop out the things that she actually likes, and then us just dump everything on top of the rice. But if you want to make it super simple, you literally could just drop this in here, and it would be fine too, like if you want to mix it up like that. But because... My child is a little picky. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm just gonna add some salt to this. And a little bit of pepper. And then I'm gonna grab a spoon, if I can find one. And of course you can add more salt to it if you like, but that's not really important. So there's that. That is amazing. I mean, that's like, can you get any easier? All right, then this is done. So you can leave it on low and cook it as long as you would like um, to get the meat to soak up like the flavors and stuff. But I'll show you guys, cause I'm gonna eat. Ronnie is hunting. So who knows when he's gonna be home and I'm hungry. So, I can show y'all what it looks like. So while I'm fixing my plate, if you guys don't mind, if you could share out this video, you can share it to your pages, you can share it to, I don't know why it's like fuzzy looking. Can y'all see that? There we go. Um, you can share it to your Facebook pages, you can share it to your keto groups or low carb groups, recipe groups, Anywhere that you think would get some value. And I have, like, let's say you guys have, like, um, some, like, vegetables. Like, like you got some carrots that you, like, need to hurry up and get rid of. You could cut those up and put them in here. I've done the same thing with, like, an onion or a, um... What's the other? Oh, mushrooms. You could do that with mushrooms also. Um, that would, those are great options for you. Like if you want to just throw things in there. Um, you're trying to learn to eat and cook healthier. Thanks, Tyler. I'm glad that I have been helpful to you. So super simple, very easy, um, really yummy. And it's even, it's better, I think, the next day. Um, if you want to add a little bit more ginger on top, you can. Um, a little bit more cayenne pepper if you like it a little bit spicy. Um, totally 
totally up to you. Um, so anyway, I appreciate you guys for joining me. It's a super fast recipe. Um, Chantel, carrots, okay, so here's, here's my thing. Carrots are a little higher in carbs um, than your green veggies, but they're still veggie. Like, you gotta get carbs from somewhere. Like, you, you still are gonna be consuming some carbs. So your carbs are gonna come from veggies. So um, <laughs> um, if you... Okay, I'll post a graphic in my stories when I'm, whenever I'm finished that has like a, it'll show you like the different um, carb counts for different veggies. Um, but it just kind of depends. So if you're, if you're still kind of struggling, I would track and see. Um, but I think I said that this was six net carbs for the mixed veggies um, for a cup of it. So that's not bad at all. Um, and I saw what you said about your, Esther, your serving sizes, I'm sure, are just fine. That's a cup of veggies. Um, and then some steak. You're, send me a picture if you think they're too big. Um, Lisa, I use round steak. I use regular, like the, it was just a, you can use flank steak if you want, um, or you can buy it already cut up. So they have it like in the stir, you can buy, they call it stir fry meat or um, fajita, whatever. Um, any of those options would work. But um, if you guys would like to be a part of my recipe group, if you will drop group in the comments, if I don't already have you in there, um, yes, Karen, fine china, you know, Walmarts, um, so, so simple, yeah, Wednesday nights, we got our, like, I have an hour, I'm doing good, I'm doing real good, Chantel, come back and watch the, um, the replay, and I do, I will put the recipe up in the description so that you'll be able to, um, catch it, um, I love you guys, I appreciate you guys, again, share this out, drop group in the comments if you want to be a part of my recipe group, um, some of you are saying that you're not catching me live, so let me tell you how you can do that, so if you go up, I think right there, yeah, right there. Tap on those, um, like if you tap on the screen, like some dots will pop up and then it'll give you an option to be notified when I go live. So you can tap on that. And then there's another option that says um, that you can follow me. So you'll, you'll get notified anytime that I post anything. So I do all sorts of um, things. And also, you guys can head over to Instagram. I usually upload all of my recipes there as well. Um, so if you have a hard time like going through the feed and you want to try to find something, most of the time you go over to Instagram, you can find it um, just fine. Um, it is there for you also. So anyway, I appreciate you guys. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your night and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye guys.